Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be making over my client's solid mahogany side table. It has a white marble topper and it had undergone one previous repair to one of the legs that were broken. So we started off by cleaning the table really well with some soap and hot water. And then we sanded the old repair site because there was a little bit of dried glue along the seam. So once that was nice and flat, we got a little bit more glue in to make it extra secure And then we hit the seams again with some of this water putty. Next, we sanded everything flat and gave it a good scuff sanding with some 220 sandpaper. This piece has a lot of curvy detailing, so I opted to do most of this by hand. After that, I primed everything with my oil-based kills primer to provide a base for the paint to stick to. This primer is really easy to use, it's quick, there's no cleanup, and it's really affordable, so I can't really ask for much else. It's starting to get warmer out, so it's been really nice to be able to work outside where I can get fresh air and get good lighting too. After the primers had time to dry, I sanded it smooth with my soft sanding sponge in a 220 grit. My client had asked for a really deep moody blue-gray, so I picked out a bunch of paint chips from Benjamin Moore, and then she chose this one here on the bottom right, which turned out to be... mysterious. We strained the paint into our spray gun, diluted it with about 20% water, and then we got to spraying. We did about three coats of color and sanded every time in between to get her finish as smooth as possible. After all the coats of paint were on, we moved on to polyurethane, which we just strained directly into the gun with whatever was left in it to essentially create like a tinted top coat. Sometimes if you're going in with straight poly over a dark paint, it could cloud your finish and make it look a little bit milky. So it's always a good idea to tint it. For us, since we're spraying, it means we don't have to clean the gun, which is a very good thing. So after the polyurethane has enough time to dry, I peeled off the tape, I put on some of Howard's Feed and Wax with a brush, and then after 20 minutes, I rubbed it all in with a shop towel. And then after that, we are all done. So this is what it looks like now. I love the color that my client chose. It looks so good in her home and the marble top really makes it stand out. I think the white and the blue is so rich and it looks really good together. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.